that we have heard, God's word that we are hearing, and God's word that we are going to hear today, that we will not let them sleep from us in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Amen. We will not let them sleep by day dreaming. When people they dream, the word of God sleep away from them. We will not allow distraction. Distraction can let the word of God sleep away from us. The distraction, the daydreaming that make the word of God sleep from us. Oh God, help us. I will not allow that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In number two, he says, For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? You see, the word spoken by angels was steadfast. And, and now, we also have angels in the church. And they are going to be talking to us today. And sometimes because of familiarity, people say, well, oh, that is my I had him last week. Oh, I had him uh, Sunday before last. Uh, and then while we are listening to the of God, they are uh, going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth. And sometimes, to God's word, in one sentence, you change your life. He may be everything said in the sun. One sentence. Maybe that yes, sentence yes, will change your life. Because the people come back and forth is the thing. It's the thing. We are going to pray that God will help us today. That we will not dishonor the word of God. We will not disrespect God. But we give full attention to it. Shall we pray? <laughs> That we will obey the word of God and will not disdain the word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In verse number three, he says, How shall we escape if we let so great salvation? Not everybody that's going to be in this Zoom evening may be saved. There may be one or two be here. Not one in your family may be saved. There, are some, there may be one two in your family or in the family that are not saved. And why? Not because they have not had the word of God, but because they neglect that salvation when that was preached to them. We are going to pray for all unsaved loved ones. All on same member of our family, the God of heaven and earth, we bring them to salvation. Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus, I will tell you the truth. I bless you, Father. Give up our family member, Father. And no one shall remain the hand of God. Today is the salvation. We pray, Father God, that God will go into a prosperous relationship with you, my children. Here is one word. Not your heart. As in the provision, 
All of one will be saved. How shall they help you then neglect so salvation? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to read us. God also bearing them with both with signs and wonder and with diverse miracles and the gift of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. There is a God himself put a stand on the word of his ministry. So somebody yesterday, I, power is a power. It's, and and it, it is the same whether if you look at it, what? It's a follower. When you have a good technique, when you have good ability, power will follow. The same thing in the spirit. When we do the work of God, and then we go, the Bible says the signs to follow. Power is always a follower. We are going to pray that all the ministers of God Amen. that we minister the signs of God, the power of God, we manifest it as the minister in Jesus' name. Shall we? Amen. I will see miracle signs and wonder. I minister the word of God. As we minister to be. As we go out to reach out with God's word, miracle signs and wonder we fall. Let us keep on praying. Let us keep on praying. Let's keep on praying. Miracle signs and wonder are test and will be a rubber stamp on our administration. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Each time we gather together, God has a purpose in mind. There is something God intends to do. You see a message or a such the scripture. There is something God intends to do with that such the scripture. There is something God intends to do with that given message. There is a work. It may be work of cleansing. It may be work of correction. It may be work of conviction. It may be work of, work, work of encouragement. It may be work of exhortation. Whatever it is, God has an intention and a purpose whenever he gives us his word. We are going to pray that God's purpose for his word today will be accomplished in every heart, in every listener. Shall we pray? God's desire, God's will, God's purpose will be performed in every heart of the hearer. The spirit of Christ will be on his word. We, we, we accomplish the purpose of God 
in every heart. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray for those who are ministering today that they will speak as an oracle of God. That we pray that they will speak as an oracle of God. Any man speak, let him speak as the oracle of God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please, next person will take over now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the power of the Lord Come down, come down. Let the power of the Lord go down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the power of the Lord, come down, glory. Let the glory of the Lord come down in this place. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Be good to thank God this morning. Today is the day of his power. Begin to magnify the name of the Lord. You are here for the blessings of the Lord today. You are here for the experiencing of the power of God today. You are here to experience the glory of the Lord today. Give him all the glory this morning. Magnify him this morning. Maybe you are a member, you are just joining for the first time. Thank the Lord. The Lord will visit you today. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Appreciate him this morning. Thank God this morning. Magnify his name this morning. Today is a wonderful day. The last day of the month of May. Thank God because the Lord will do something unique, something special, something extraordinary in your life today. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Psalm 110, one, verse 3. Psalm 110, verse 3. My people shall be willing in the day of thy power. It says here, in the Beauty of holiness from the womb of the morning. That was the deal of thy youth. He said that the people shall be willing in the day of his power. We are going to ask God this morning, let the power of God come upon the people today. The spirit of God, let it rest upon us today. Let the power of God come upon us today. In the day of his power, the people shall be willing. With the willingness to pray, we'll be there. Willingness to hear the word of God will be there. The willingness to be patient for the voice of God. For the will of God will be there. Let's ask God this morning, release your power into our midst today. Let the power of God be released upon us today. The power of God. The power of God will make the people to be willing. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to ask God today that the Lord will touch you. The Lord will touch the members of your family. 
God will touch everyone that will log in today in the name of Jesus Christ. As God this morning, we need the touch of the Lord. I need your touch, oh God. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. We have been touched in the first session. Ask God again, touch me one more time. I need your touch in my life. I need your touch in my soul. I need your touch in my spirit. I need your touch in my family. I need your touch in my ministry. Ask God this morning, touch me. Touch me one more time. I need your touch, oh God. Ask God this morning, touch me. Touch my life. Touch my life. Touch my soul. Touch my spirit today. Touch my body. If you are sick, ask God to touch you this morning. As the word of God comes from the servants of God, you are going to be healed. That God will touch you this morning. God will touch your flesh. God will touch your body. God will touch your soul and spirit. Ask God this morning, touch me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray. Every barrier that may want to stand between us and our blessings today, Almighty God, by your power, remove them in Jesus' name. Call on God this morning. Every barrier, every obstacle that could hinder you from being touched by the Lord, from being blessed by the Lord, that God will remove all those in blessings in Jesus' name. Pray unto God this morning. Lord, remove every barrier. Every obstacle between me and my miracle today. Ask God this morning, whatever we serve as a barrier, as an hindrance to you getting receiving from the Lord, Lord, remove in Jesus' name. Any barrier, maybe doubt, unbelief, it could be any kind of sin. Pray unto God this morning, any barrier that will hinder me from receiving my miracle today. My blessing today, remove in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So when the children of God gather us together, the devil also wants to come. Satan wants to come. We are going to pray unto God this morning that the Lord will silence the voice of the enemy in our lives today. On this uh, uh, this link, God will silence the enemy's voice. The voice we hear this morning will be the one from the Lord, not from the devil. Every voice of the devil will silence this morning by the power of God in Jesus' name. Every voice of the enemy that wants to conflict with the voice of the Holy Ghost that comes to you from the messengers of the Lord, the Lord will silence the voice of the enemy this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray for as many that have not probably woken up yet. The power of God will wake them up in Jesus' name. People that have this information, but they are not up yet. The Holy Spirit's power We wake them up this morning in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, we are asking this morning, as many that are still sleeping, let your power wake them up. Let your spirit wake them up in Jesus' name. As many, almighty God, that are still sleeping by your spirit and power, let them be awakened now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Every spirit of buying and selling, when the messages are going on, we are going to silence all those uh, uh, spirits this morning by the power of God in Jesus' name. As God this morning, Every spirit of buying and selling, every spirit of those that are sleeping, in the name of Jesus, we bind you. By the power of God, we bind you in Jesus' name. Every spirit of buying and selling, spirit of sleeping, spirit of lack of consecration, we bind you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray that the word of God will come like fire. The fire, when the fire comes, it burns. The, the word of God, from the messengers of God that comes to us this morning, we come like fire and we consume every work of the devil in Jesus' name. Call on God this morning. 
Almighty God, we are asking that as the word of God comes up from the messengers of God, Lord, let it come with fire, the fire that consumes the work of the devil, the work of flesh. Let that fire consume the work of the enemies in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible tells us, he maketh his angel spirit and his ministers to be flaming fire. We are going to ask God this morning that the spirit of God, the power of God, we possess and minister today in Jesus' name. Let us pray in an uncommon way. Let the power of God be same upon our ministers today. In the name of Jesus, they will preach and teach like the oracle of the Lord. They will speak the very mind of God to us in Jesus' name. As God this morning, let the power of God flow into their lives. Anointing from heaven, supernatural grace from heaven, wisdom from heaven, illumination from heaven, inspiration from heaven. Lord, we pray you possess the ministers in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. As we see what is happening in the nation, we're going to pray that the peace of God will overrule every violent spirit in the nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Ask God this morning from Minnesota to Georgia to South Carolina to Washington, D.C., the peace of God will overrule every spirit of violence in the land. Ask God this morning. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They that love him shall prosper. This is at Jerusalem right now. We pray against every spirit of violence in the nation. We summon them this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the peace of God reign in the land. From Minnesota to different states of this country, we proclaim the peace of God to reign in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God is still working wonders and miracles. I don't know your situation this morning. You are going to pray. Every challenge in your life, that the power of God will remove them in Jesus' name. Every yoke in your life will be broken this morning. Thank God this morning, God is still at work in working miracles and wonders. Pray unto God this morning. The power of God will take care of the, the challenges of your life. Amen. What is that challenge? Spiritual, physical, marital, financial, ministerial, family. Ask God this morning. Let the power of God take charge of every challenge in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. He said, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy joy of the Lord will be your strength today in Jesus' name. You are going to ask God, as a result of this service, I'm entering to the month of June with joy. My family, we enter to the month of June with joy in Jesus' name. Pray unto God this morning. By the power of God, I and my household, we are entering to the month of June with joy. With joy. Through the word of God, through the anointing upon the servants of the Lord, my life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. I will enter into the demand of doing with joy. With joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray unto God this morning. Whatever may be your need, ask God to supply your needs in Jesus' name. That you will not go back the same way you have come this morning in Jesus' name. God will do something new in your life. He will do something in your family today. Pray unto God, do something new in my life today. And the word of God comes forward, do something in my life today in Jesus' name. Do something new. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Finally, we are going to pray for grace to receive from the Lord. Lord, make your grace abound in my life so that I'll be able to get all that you have in store for me today in Jesus' name. Give me your grace, the grace to receive everything you have in store for me today. Ask God this morning, give me the grace 
Give me the grace. Let your grace be multiplied in my life today so that I can get everything you have in store for me in Jesus' name. Ask God this morning. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Begin to thank God this morning because he has answered our prayers. Worshiping, appreciate him this morning. He is a faithful God. He said, call unto me and I will answer thee. And I will show thee great and mighty things which thou met not. Thank God this morning he has answered our prayers this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our Father, we thank you so much for this glorious day. We appreciate you for the time, the sweet time, hours of prayer. Lord, we are asking, O oh God, that all that we have taken before you this morning, Lord, let them receive to the answers in Jesus' name. Amen. And we have known, of course, we go back the same way we have come today in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for your answer our prayers, Lord. Thank you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We continue the third session of our prayers as we take this song. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that blows my soul. Something happened and now I know he touched me and make me whole. Jesus will touch you today. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that flows my soul. Something Happen, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 43, I read verse 18 and 19, connected with the prayer that our pastor just finished now. He says, Remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Today, new things will spring forth in Jesus' name. Amen. And so, as one who pray, one who commit ourselves into the hands of the Lord, that anything that is old in your life before this 31st will pass away today in Jesus' name. Amen. And God will begin a new thing. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. We are in a special service, and God wants to do a new thing. I want to pray and say, Lord, whatever is old, no man sold a new clothes and put it on an old cloth. Anything that is old, is it old COVID? Is it old, you know, coldness because of this uh, lockdown? Is it anything that is old in your life? Pray and say, Lord, by your power, take anything that is old in my life and do something new, something new, something new, beyond your expectation, beyond our expectation. And that's why by the touch of the Lord today, in this special combined service, our lives will never remain the same. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Let's call upon the Lord. The Lord do something new in my life. Anything that is old, we want to pray that today they will pass away. As many sinners that will be joining us in our various locations and all over the world, let's pray anything that is old in their life, the old life of sin, the old life of the Adamic nature, the root of sin, the old life of all forms of, you know, ups and downs, the yoke, the bondage, the, 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 the influences of, you know, satanic attack. Let's pray every old thing will pass away today. We want God to visit us. We want Him to touch us. We want Him to touch our soul. That by the time we finish this special service, everything will become new. He says, Behold, I will do a new thing. And so we want to pray that God will do a new thing in our spiritual life. Sinners will be saved. That's a new thing. 
believers should be sanctified. That's a new thing. And those who are sanctified will be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's a new thing. That anything, anyone that is still infected or affected mm -hmm. by the COVID will be liberated and set free. Let every yoke be broken. Because the Bible says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. We want new things to spring forth. New things to spring forth. That will have testimonies after this special, you know, combined service. There will be special testimony that God has visited his people. Upon the last day of the month of May, the mercy of God has visited his people. And things Amen. are not the same anymore. Let's pray the Lord. Do something new in our midst. That all the sicknesses, those who are affected by COVID, they will be liberated. They will be loose and set free to go and enjoy healing and health. And the power of God will come down. Let's pray those who are yoked to any addiction. The power of the Lord will break the yokes. Any long-standing problem will receive solution. We want to pray that God of heaven, he says, now it shall spring forth. Shall we not know it? He says, we'll make a way in the wilderness. And he will create rivers in the desert. We want to pray that any dry thing, dry wombs will receive rivers of divine hope of conception. All the dry spiritual lives will receive the river of revival. Let's pray, O oh Lord, rain, rain, rain of revival, rain of renewal, rain of restoration. Those who are vaccinated because of this lockdown, let's pray that there will be rain of restoration, a rain of recovery, anything that is lost, anything that the enemy has stolen. Has your job been stolen from you by, by the lockdown? Have you been laid off from your place of work? Anything that is lost will be recovered. Pray unto the Lord. Divine recovery. Divine recovery. Divine recovery. Recovery of souls that have gone, you know, out of the way of, you know, righteousness. The Lord will recover them back. But we pray our members that one way or the other because of the lockdown, they are no more consistent. The Lord will recover all of them. And those who have lost their job, God will recover it. And there will be a divine, you know, visitation of God to bring a new thing. New things, new things, renewal, revival, restoration, recovery, and revival. Let's pray and say, Lord, do all this. That at the end of the service, we'll say, thank God, God has visited us. And things are not the same anymore. That will be our testimony. We'll be able to sing that song. Things are not the same anymore. I never dreamed that I could have all the things that he had in store. But now he leads me higher and higher every day. Things are not the same anymore. The Spirit the Lord, great rivers. Rivers of the rain of mercy. Rivers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Rivers of heavenly visitation. The river of healing that will wash away all the negative effects of COVID and heal those who are affected and infected. The Lord do something new. Do something new, Lord. Do something new in our midst. Something new in our lives. Something new in our lives. Oh, Lord. Something new in our lives. Something new in our lives. Something new in our lives. We pray. Do something new in our lives. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. Do something new. Something new in my life, something new in my life, I pray. You pray to the Lord, let the Lord do something new. That I will have a testimony as I enter into the month of June. You know, June is known as a month of joy, as a month of jubilation, as a month that you are going to rejoice in the Lord. As you want to pray.
We are more than conquerors through Christ that loves us. And so we are going to gather best today in the service that will make us recover all in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. This should be our testimony as Joel prophesied in Joel chapter 2, verse 21. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pasture of the wilderness do spring. Your life will spring again in fruitfulness in Jesus' name. For the tree beareth her fruit, and the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Today, the Lord will do great things. Let's find out this session. Father, we thank you for your promise that you will do great things. Open heaven, pour out the showers of grace, the rain of renewal, the rain of revival, the rain of restoration, the rain of recovery, the rain of rejoicing again. Pour it upon us in Jesus' name. That Amen. Amen. And our cows will be filled to our flowing, that you will do great things, and all the glory will be yours in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because it's answered. As we continue, empower us to pray through, and everyone, oh Lord, touch us and let us possess our possession. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We continue to be in the mode of prayer. Let's bow down heads to pray. Father, we thank you for this session. As we continue, we pray that your spirit of prayer and supplication be poured upon us, that we pray and pray through Lord. And after this session, we will know that indeed, the Lord God of heaven has met with us, and he has touched us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we continue to pray, but we will take a look at a passage of scripture from John chapter 7, John chapter 7, verse 37. John chapter 7, verse 37. John 7, 37. And were beyond measure astonished, saying, He have done all things well. He make up both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. There's a reference made about our Lord Jesus Christ. But then, what happened? You know, he had done all things well. What happened before this verse came? This verse didn't just come out of the blue. It's because of what the Lord had done prior to this particular verse. That is why they said, he had done all things well. And Jesus Christ, the same, yesterday, today, and forever. If he did all things well, then then he will still do all things well in our lives in Jesus' name. If he did all things well at that time, he will still do all things well today because he has not changed. But the point is this, as our pastor said, today is the last day of the month of May. And then tomorrow we are entering into the month of June. We are entering into the month of June from tomorrow. But the question I want to ask is this. From the beginning of this year, that is from the 1st of January to today, what have we done with the word of God? The Lord gave us a message at the 31st night from our father, from our pastor, from over here, from our general superintendent too. And the passage is this. As I just read part of it, he said, believe in the Lord your God so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. And I think the problem with that, along the line, we lose track of some of these things. And, you know, before the end of the year, or be, before the end of maybe January, February, we've forgotten all these promises. The, the God of heaven know that this pandemic will be coming, of course. I think he knows because God knows all things. The God know that a time will come that the whole world will be locked down Yes, he knew. Then why did he give us this promise then? Then why did he give us this wonderful promise? So, if we are going to prosper, if we are going to enjoy this promise, despite what is happening, pandemic or no pandemic, 
lockdown or lockout, whatever it is, we are still going to go back to this. Because Jesus Christ did all things for us, and he's still the same. And he has told us, believe the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe his prophet, you shall prosper. In the midst of this pandemic, we are trusting God. That the promise he gave us, we are still going to, want to hold on to it, because the promise is still good. At this time, I want us to go to the Lord in prayer now. Open your mouth and begin to claim this promise. And say, Lord, the promise is still good. We are still looking up unto you. Whatever is happening, people are losing their jobs. Thousands fall on the left, 10,000 on the right here and there. But it should not come near us because the Lord has said we will be established. And if we are going to be established, we are not going to lose our lives. If we are going to be established, we are not going to fall. We are not going to lose our job. If we are going to prosper, how do, we, how do we prosper if we don't have a job? Let's pray and say, Lord, we are still trusting you and believing you. Your promises are yea and amen. Call upon the Lord. Let us call upon the Lord and say, Lord, we believe your word. We believe your prophets. We, therefore, we shall be established. Therefore, prosper us. Therefore, establish us. Because your word is true, you cannot lie. God of heaven who has not lied, he has never lied before. He cannot lie. And if he gave this message to the man of God, then we are still holding back to it. Let's go back to it and hold on. To, to the end of this year, we are going to hold on to it. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord and say, Lord, this, pro this promise is still true. This promise is still good. We are holding on to it. Come what may, we are holding on to it. And as we are entering the month of June tomorrow, the promise is still good. It was good on the 1st of January, it's still good. And it will be good all through to the December 31st again, until the Lord will send another message. Call upon the Lord today. Let us call upon the Lord. The promise is still good. Standing on the promise of God, which cannot fail, his promises are yea and amen. It cannot fail. Call upon the Lord today. Jesus Christ the same, yesterday, today, and forever. What he has said, he will do, he will do. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's pray and say, Lord Jesus, we hold on to your promises. Your promises are yea and amen. We hold on to your word. The promise you gave us through our genesis of the land, through our region of us here, if you gave them indeed, and we know by the grace of God you gave them, then we are holding on to it. No matter what happens, we will be established. We will prosper in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. We are holding on to the promise of God. Go back. Go back to the word of God. Let's say, Lord, let's call upon the Lord. His promises are yea and amen. He cannot change because he cannot lie. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord. Open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, we are holding on to your promises, which cannot fail through eternal ages. He has not failed. If Jesus never failed, he will never fail. Open your mouth, brothers and sisters. We are called upon today. We are changing our destiny today through prayer, through the promise of God, and through this prayer time. Before the man of God, and I can promise you today, something different is going to happen today. Something spectacular, I'm so much expecting. And let's prepare our hearts today and say, Lord, if nobody gets blessed, I'm going to be blessed. If nobody gets blessed today, I'm going to be blessed because I'm going to hold on to your promises, unchanging promises. The promise which cannot fail, which has not failed from the dateless past unto the endless future, now the same. Jesus never fails. The men of God, the men of this world, can fail you. The men of this world can disappoint you. The politicians can disappoint you. But Jesus never fails. The promise he gave us, the prophecy he gave us through men of God, through our overseer, and through the generals of the land, let's go back to it. If you have forgotten it, let's go back to it. Let's claim it. It for us. God knew from 31st December that there will be pandemic in 2020. Why did he give us that promise then? Is God a liar? Of course he's not. Because he wants to separate us from the rest of the, the world. That is why he gave us. So that if we can hold on to it in times like this. In times like this. God's will will not fail. Our hearts will not faint. We will still prosper in the midst of darkness. In the midst of all this gloomy, they say the world economy, recession. Yes, but God can still do wonders in our lives. During the land, there was so much famine in those days. There was a widow woman. God made provision. Yes. 
When there was no food, God sent food from heaven for Elijah, the prophet of God. Think about it. Our economy will not be based on the economy of this world. We are going to trust God and say, Lord, if everything falls apart, our God will still move on. When men are saying there's a casting down, we are saying there's a lifting up because we are looking up unto God, looking unto Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. Let's just call upon the Lord today. We are breaking through, no matter what is happening. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right. Look up. Look up. If you look around you, you'll be depressed. If you're going to tune in to CNN, to Fox, to whatever, you're going to be disappointed. Nothing good is going to come out of that place. Look unto Jesus. Look unto Jesus. Don't look up to any politician. Don't look up to anybody. Look unto Jesus. He is more than sufficient for us. The man of Calvary is enough for us. Looking unto Jesus, because his promises are yea and amen. Let's call upon the Lord this morning. As the Lord ushers us into this special day, the Lord knows what he has prepared for us. No matter what happens or does not happen, God is still on the throne. The God of the good times is still God in the bad times. His promises are yea and amen. Let's hold on to it. It's still good. Don't freak out. God's promises are still good. Don't lose hope. God's promises are still good. Don't be disappointed. God's promises are still good. Don't be cast down. God's promises are still good. When men are saying there's a casting down, oh, we are going to say there's a lifting up because Jehovah reigns. Jehovah reigns. And no weapon, no weapon of darkness, no weapon of virus against us will prosper because we are being established in the name of the Lord. Counting on the promise of God, we cannot fail. Let's call upon the Lord. Sorry, there was a small technical hit there. Let's call upon the Lord. Our God is still on the throne, and he will remember his own. Our God is still on the throne, and he will remember his own. Let's pray and say, Lord Jesus, we are anchored in Jesus. We are anchored in Jesus. The storms of life will pray. We are anchored to the rock of ages. Let's pray that today is Sunday, 31st of May. I am entering into the month of June with my blessing. All the baggage from January 1st to today, we are leaving behind by the grace of God because we are going to believe his prophet today and will be established. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, before we round up, we are going to pray one prayer. Because the Lord told us two things. He said, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. I know that everybody on this line believes in God. That is why you are here. Today is Sunday. But then, we are going to pray that God will establish us in the, in the word of God today, that we believe in the prophet, in his prophet, the prophet of God. Now, our pastor coming on this line, but the grace of God is a prophet of God, is a man of God, anointed of God, called by the living God. And therefore, 
Whatever he tells you today is going to come from the throne of grace. Let's pray and say, Lord, help me today. Whatever the man of God would tell me to do, I will do it. To your glory, because it's for my goal. Let's pray and call upon the Lord. Whatever grace we need today to stay tuned. There's going to be time to be running back and forth, to kitchen back and forth here and there. Today is a special day. Lord, I will not miss my blessing. Call upon the Lord. Whatever it is, the Lord, God of heaven, is going to bless us. Lord, I'm going to stick, my, stick to my phone here, stick to my uh, TV here, or stick to my, uh, 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 my computer here today. I am going to be blessed. I will not miss my blessings. I will not miss my blessings today because I'm going to believe you, believe you, the living God, and I'm going to believe you, a prophet, the prophet of God, the prophet of God, the prophet of the Most High God and we shall prosper. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we want to thank you for a day like this. Oh, what a wonderful day. What a wonderful day you have set apart for us. Because you love us, because you want to prosper us. Father, we pray, whatever would distract us today, we cancel it, oh God. That will be focused on one thing, on to the true living God, and also, Lord, we are going to believe your prophet today, and because of that, we will prosper. No matter what happens in this nation, in the world, we will be established, we will prosper in Jesus' name. Father, as we continue, continue with us, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. And the church of God said, Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Lord of heaven, we thank you for the blessings of life and health which you have given unto us. Thank you for allowing us to have the opportunity to be in your presence on this day of the Lord and the last day of this month. Oh Lord, the God that hears our prayers. You have said that you will be present whenever two or three are gathered in your name. Lord, we welcome your presence and grace among us during this service in Jesus' name. We come together in the unity of our faith and I ask that you manifest your glory today and shine your light upon every one of us in Jesus' name. Together we combat the evil that gathers against this service and command that they be confounded in Jesus' name. Bless us today that we may end the service with your spiritual blessings and physical blessings in Jesus' name. We glorify your name because of the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to be singing hymn 21 in our gospel hymns and song will your anchor hold will your anchor hold in the storm of life when the clouds unfold their wings of strife when the strong tides lift and the cable strain will your anchor dream or firm remain it is safely more to the storm we stand but it's well secured by the Savior's hand. And the cable passed from his heart to mine can defy the blast through strength divine. It will firmly hold in the strait of fear when the breakers have told the reef is near. Though the tempest rave and the wild winds blow, not an angry wave shall our back overflow. It will surely hold on the floors of death. When the waters cold, chill our latest breath. On the rising tide, it can never fail. While our hopes abide within the veil, we have an anchor that keeps the soul 